Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Thank you. Um, sorry for being overcrowded. It's, we sold 15% more than we have before, so we had to stuff chairs everywhere. If you have an empty seat next to you, you're an anomaly. <laughs> there, there should be mostly full. Um, glad you're all here today. Um, and we asked for this Prague weather to keep you inside today. It's working, you're here in the morning. Uh, so welcome to the conference. Uh, my name is Keith Parsons. How many of you, by raise of hands, this is your first time at a WLPC? Yay! Yeah. That means if you didn't raise your hand, there's a bunch of new friends here. You'll realize if you are new and you walk in the room and some people are talking together, they might know each other already, and that's okay. And so if you have been here before and you have friends and you're sitting around talking with someone, try to open up your group a little bit. Just, you know, a couple of you turn your shoulders to be more open to those who are new. So about half of you, it looked like, are new. So try to make your groups a little more open. If you're new, it's not everyone else's fault if you don't make friends, it's yours. They will try to help, but uh, there's lots of activities you can get involved in, and I, I don't want anyone to feel like, oh, I came to WOPC and I was alone. If you feel that way, it's your fault, because there's lots of stuff to, to get into. So this is, uh, we've done a couple of these before, from 2014. In Phoenix, it'll be our 10-year anniversary, so we're, yeah. Somebody like that. Uh, <laughs> And we, we did, this is our third one this year that we're doing. And I've used the same slide and the same terms for the last 10 years. These conferences are all about you. They're about the people. We don't have vendor sponsors. We don't have vendor tables. We don't have booths. They don't sponsor your meals. You're not what's being sold, which means you're here just because you want to be with other people do the same thing. And that was my idea and my goal 10 years ago was to make a conference where I just wanted to go and hang out with people I liked and people who thought the way I did and when I spoke I didn't have to use a different language. I could, I could use acronyms I use in my everyday life and the person wouldn't go, huh? So glad you're here. You're amongst friends who like to do the same things you do. So that's why we're all here. Now along the way there's lots of stuff you can learn. There's activities you can get engaged in, and we let the vendors in at night. But they have to tempt you to come to their things. So if they don't give you food and beverage or give you a beer, you don't have to go. So the evening events are totally voluntary. The vendors kind of say things like, you got a room full of people we want to talk to, and I won't sell this microphone to, to them. So they go, what if we bribe them with food? So. Tonight, you can come and talk to the vendors. They usually have some sort of giveaways, just saying. Thanks go out to the team of people. I just kind of start this. Sam, Tani, wave your hands over there. Hey. hey. Fernay. <laughs> Ma Matthew, someplace, pro oh, there's Matthew. Yay. So they, they do all the work. I just get to stand up here and talk. So thanks to them. And Tony's put together a team of volunteers to do all other stuff, so every, everyone's involved, thank you. We have lots of instructors and speakers, so it's really about you, and it's, you're, you did this conference for yourselves. So we're 15% larger than we were last year. It's our ninth one we were doing in Europe. We had five boot camps. Raise your hand if you have, we were in the boot camp. So if you see people with their hands up, they've already been here for three days. And they've already met other people in their classes and they're talking, so just engage with them. Uh, we have eight deep dive options this week. And a deep dive, for those of you who are new, we started out with, uh, oh, I think it was in Budapest. And we, wanted, we built these little Odroid computers. They were headless, meaning they had no screens. And we, man, everyone assembled their own and there was only one station to test them. So you had to plug it in, there's only one screen. But it was really fun building something and getting a tool that made stuff. 
So we started to roll out, and instead of one more session where someone's just talking to you, a deep dive is a chance for you to go and get hands-on and, and spend six hours, basically a one-day class, on something. The problem is not everyone wanted, to do, everyone wanted to do the same somethings, so we have options. So you're in one of eight deep dive classes. You go to the class, you'll get some stuff there, you'll learn things, and you get to do stuff. And those are in the afternoons. Uh, oh, we had 20% boot camp attendees, not two. I guess I should proofread before I do this. But here's the unique statistic for any um, conference. 30% of you will either be presenting or being an instructor. So one out of three of you is actually going to be up here talking. That's the whole purpose. It's so we can share information between each other. There was well over 100 submissions for the chance to speak up here. That's fantastic. We don't have 100 speaking slots. So some of you who wanted to talk and didn't get a chance this year, uh, I recommend you do a couple things. One, write a couple blogs. Write, what, write down what you were going to say and put it out there for other people to see. People vote on what sessions come up here. So if no one knows about you, it's kind of hard for them to vote for you. Well, it can be if you write a really good description. So that's the second thing. When you're writing your call for presentations, put your description like it's the best thing ever, and then people vote for it. The third is we have a um, studio upstairs. That, where's Matthew? Anyway, straight upstairs in the Praha room, and you can talk to Matthew and schedule time. You can deliver your 10 talk and have it recorded, even though you didn't get a slot here. And then it'll go out on a YouTube channel, people will see it, and then they'll go, oh, I kind of like that guy, he, he, he did a good thing, or she presented really well, we'd like to see her again, and that will increase your chances for presenting next year. So here's our agenda. It's Excel, if you didn't notice. This is so we can be fairly adaptive. I was making changes to it last night. It's not pre-published because people are like, I want this slot, I want that slot. So we, we try to be flexible as we can. The green sessions are the one hours in the morning, and those are the, the three sessions that got the most votes. Those are the ones people really, really, really wanted to see. So we have David Coleman, Wes Purvis, and Peter McKenzie on first thing in the morning. Then the kind of the darker blue ones are the ones that were voted the next highest, and they get 30-minute slots, and we have four of those. We have, this year we're trying a new 20-minute slot because some people go, I can't get my stuff done in 10 minutes. True. But you can. I think you can deliver easily a half-hour presentation in 10 minutes if you cut out the garbage. <laughs> no one here cares what your background was. Well, I started in school when I was a wee lad. And then when I was in high school, my teacher said, you might go into technology. And, and then eventually get to the topic. Just jump right in. You're here. You have 10 minutes. I don't need to hear any of the intro. Just do it. And here's another idea. You might want to start with your conclusion first. Now, I know when we were little kids, we've been in school, and teachers told us, well, you have to have a thesis statement, and then supporting argument, supporting argument, supporting argument, conclusion. It doesn't work that way anymore. We live in a world where if the email title doesn't catch your eye, the delete button is really fast. So even when you're up here, start that way. So we have lunch. Lunch will be upstairs, up the stairs one level, and back this way. Uh, bathrooms are out this main door and to the left, kind of up half a set of stairs. We'll have breaks. Break stuffs will be out here. Um, and then this afternoon after lunch, we'll do 20-minute talks. Now, like the 10 talks, 20-minute talks are not quite as rapid fire, but we'll need the, those of you who are talking to queue up and go to the back with Ben. Say hi, Ben. Say hi, Jay. And talk to either Ben or Jay, and they'll get you mic'd up so you're ready to go so we can transition very quickly. 
Uh, then this afternoon after the break, we'll send you off to your deep dives. In a minute, I'll show you where each of the deep dive people go, and you'll be up there for three hours. So here's our presentations for the day. Uh, well, actually, for the week, these are the long ones, and here are the 10 talks, and they're in this kind of um, weird order. I tried alphabetic. I tried, why don't we alphabetize them by title? Just some way to randomize and get them up there. If you're on this list, realize who's in front of you and who's behind you. In fact, who's two ahead of you so you have time to go and get mic'd up when it's your cycle. Uh, Robert Boardman. Where's Boardman? I saw him. You're number seven, which means you could go today or you could go tomorrow. Yeah. You're on, so there, he's on the cusp between the two. So if we go back, uh, today we have talks one through six, but we have an hour and 15 minutes. Actually, just an hour this time. An hour, and if, that's, if they're all 10 minutes exactly, we're perfectly timed. But some people can do their 10 talk in eight. So, Wardman, be ready to kind of, I'm just giving you warning. Thanks, thanks, so the deep dive is this afternoon. Uh, Jennifer, JJ, you want to raise your hand? Well, okay, stand up too. We, <laughs> no, no, I, I meant to. People over here couldn't see your hand, but they should be able to see. Oh, I didn't mean get on the chair. Okay, she, she's doing a deep dive uh, on security. It's fantastic. She did it last year, and we're doing it again here. It's in Cairo 2. You go up to the main lobby where the, where your registration, the, the registration desk was, and just to the right, there's some stairs that go up, and the Cairo rooms are up there. Jiri's going to be doing the WMPI, and for the two that are up in Brussels, the WMPI and the drone, you're going, well, you don't have to take a picture of this. This is on your paper. But you can take a picture if you like. Um, the two that are in Brussels, you're going to have to take the funicular up the hill. So plan accordingly. That one, if those two, you want to get up pretty quick so you can queue up. That little funicular doesn't take everyone who's going to be going up there. It's going to take a couple rounds. So the Brussels you know, with the WMPI is up and to the end. And um, Mike Wade's doing the drone. It's also up on top so you can take your drones out and fly. Uh, Hamana is going to be in Zurich 1 and 2. These are Zurich 1, 2, 3, 4. So the Hamana guys are on that side, and the Wi-Fi Explorer Pro with Adrian are going to be on this side. And then Peter McKenzie's is up next to JJ's up in Cairo. We'll review this again. Just Zurich's are down here, Brussels are all the way up in the funicular, and the Cairo's are up on the main floor up a little bit. Tonight we have NetAlly and Cisco. NetAlly will start over here in Zurich 3 and 4, and then Cisco will do theirs over in Zurich 1 and 2. Tomorrow night we do the same thing, but we have three, and we'll kind of rotate back and forth between those vendor events. If you like, you can attend all five. You can attend zero. You might want to attend them because they always give stuff away. So, you know, if you're into that. So, I told you how to present, you're presenting up here. For those of you who come up, here is your little HDMI cable, bring your own dongle. If you're a walker, and I'm a walker, and you get someplace like this, and you realize the light's in your eye, you walk too far. Plus your feet can feel it because there's a little thing on the floor. That's your distance. On this side, you can walk as far as this little black line over here, but we put one at the ground to keep you kind of stable. Jay and Ben will track you the whole time while you're talking. Don't worry about it. Uh, but you have some space if you're a walker. Just don't get in front of the, the screens. Present to friends. Don't feel like you have to explain what BYOD means. They already know. They probably already have, if you have a problem statement and you want to solve it, they've probably already had the problem. So you don't have to be waste time on that, get to the really cool thing you're trying to do. So, you're going to be nervous, it's okay. There's showers, when you're done, you can, you know, go take a shower. Enjoy it. Um, I love supporting data. If you're going to present data, 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 data is wonderful. You did an experiment, you ran these tests, you did this 
fantastic. That's after you've done your conclusion. Because the conclusion is a big deal. It's the part that people are waiting for. Don't lead up to it, just jump in. And if people have questions, they'll come and talk to you about it. Um, I said, don't set the stage. We know what BYOD is. And for 10 talks, and 20 talks, and 30 talks, and 55, there's right here a little clock that does a countdown timer. Green, yellow, if it goes to red, you're out of time. If it's flashing red, I'm gonna take you off the stage. And like, I'll just go Ben, and Ben will turn the mic off, and you'll be So, try to watch that. When we're all done, and you've finished your presentation, you can either send to me or to Matthew or both of us your slides, and we'll marry them up with your video and post it up on the web. So all the content's free, it goes up as fast as we can get it up. Ben and Jay usually get us to it by the end of the week. We have actually, by, by the, when we're done, they're done, and then we just have to do our little thing. So the sooner you can get us your slides and any links or anything you wanna share with your presentation, we'll take care of that for you. So, have fun, get engaged, let's get excited. Yes, Anders, how's Helga doing today? Oh, so if she's happy, we're all gonna be happy. Okay, to schedule a video recording, don't take this, this was last year's, but talk to Matthew. If you wanna present, talk to Matthew. If you were an instructor in the last three days, or an instructor for deep dive, talk to Matthew. Go upstairs, we'll do a recording, do a little teaser of your deep dive or your boot camp so that when people are voting next time around, they can you know, link to YouTube and say, oh, that's what he looks like. Oh, I don't wanna take that one. So that's where you go. First up, we have Mr. David Coleman. And as he comes up, I'll swap the screen out and get it to him. He's gonna talk for an hour and then directly when he's done, Jerry and Nick will talk about WMPI and then we'll have a break and everyone will go back. You might want to return to your seats on time because we have a tra tradition that that's when we do the door prize giveaways. So if you, and I can tell you how many people are here and how many pr prizes we have. You have about a one in, at least a one in five chance of winning something. But you have to be present to win. There are many people here in this room, Robert, who have <laughs> not been there and missed up on having something really like, that they wanted, they weren't because they weren't here on time. So come get here on time and uh, we'll do door prizes right on time and continue on the, with the presentations. So thank you.